Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video and welcome to phase 3 of the Sleeper Simulant quest. If you guys haven't already seen it, then I've uploaded the first part where I basically told you guys that there is a quest live today, which you can then use to kick off the search for the Sleeper Simulant. And then the second video gave you the code you needed to unlock the Curious Transceiver. Once you do that and you complete the Curious Transceiver, then it will send you back to the Cosmodrone to speed run Kate's Tower. It's basically the second half of the story mission. Once you turn the bridge around, you basically have to run from the bridge to the final boss room, take out three wizards in four minutes. It's actually pretty easy, especially if you're a hunter, go invisible. But either way, don't worry about killing enemies. Speed run past all of them, get to the final room, you can loot the chest, kill the three wizards, and you'll then get the Ikalos Fusion Core, which is the next stage of this mission. When you inspect this, you'll see there are now five notes. In order to actually hand this core into Banshee, you need to repair it and the instructions for repairing it are actually right in front of us. The top left node makes reference to the Ishtar Archives, which is a mission on Venus. You go down, you complete the archive mission, and upon completing the mission, you'll be given an item which will allow you to repair this node. I'm not entirely sure whether you have to do it on easy or hard mode, so I did it on hard just to be sure, but either way, complete the archive mission and you'll then get an item at the end. Moving on from there, the top right one, the heavy power coupling, this one you simply have to dismantle a heavy weapon. It can be any weapon, doesn't have to be legendary, it can be rare, whatever you want, but dismantle a heavy weapon and you'll then get the next part. The last three are simply Warsats. The first one refers to Terra, which is obviously Earth. The second one refers to Luna, which is the Moon. And the third one refers to Mars, which is, well, Mars. This is the most annoying bit because this basically hinges on the Warsat public events. You basically have to sit down, wait for a Warsat to drop in as a public event, and upon completing it, you'll get one of the items you need. Now, for those of you guys that actually want to be able to track the public events, I'll leave a link to the Destiny public event tracker in the description box down below. You can use it to check out and find out what times they should be dropping. But either way, complete the three Warsats, one on Mars, one on Earth, and one on the Moon, and you'll then have the items you need. Once you've done that, you can then open up and inspect the actual item itself, and you can then click on the five different notes. Once you've done that, there'll then be an option to repair the core down below, and you can then take it to Banshee. And this is the slightly annoying bit. This is where it kind of goes cold. You hand it into Banshee, he's like, thank you very much, I'm going to go and kind of show this to the different foundries and show them what a real weapon is. And then nothing happens. So this is another one of those waiting things. As it currently stands, it seems like there's nothing else to do to date. I can verify that it's not tied to Gunsmith rank 5 because 269 is rank 5 and that simply unlocks the first curse exotic questline which is for the hand cannon. It's not to do with the sleeper stimulant. So it could well be that say tomorrow or like the day after or an entire week later. Banshee will then give us a quest to continue the next phase. Either way, for the time being, we now wait. And that's it. That is how you complete the next phase of the sleeper stimulant quest and that's how you get to where I am now. As and when the next phase does show up, I will of course keep you updated with videos, and once it's all live, I'll have a video for you at the end with a complete guide from start to finish. One quick tip, for any of you guys that are saying that the quest is not showing up on your map, it seems that it's tied to the four Dvalin relics, so if you haven't had them, go around, do patrol, do some missions on the Earth, and hope you can get those four items to drop. Once you have them and you hand four into Banshee, that's what makes the mission show up. If you guys did enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated. Thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.